Maryland Patriots are 1-0 to start the 2024-25 NFL season. They took down Joe Shiesty and the Cincinnati Bengals on the road, giving Gerard Mayo his first win as the new head coach for the New England Patriots. There were a lot of expectations going into this game. And I'll be honest, not a lot of them were that high. There's a lot of rebuilding, a lot of rookies, new coaching staff. Nobody knew what to expect from this Patriots football team. Considering they also won four games last year, a lot of people were nervous this was going to be the same thing. Wrong. They proved the nation wrong. They won 16 to 10 over the Cincinnati Bengals, even though there was no T. Higgins, but that is okay. They locked down Jamar Chase. They made sure Joe Burrow could not just crap all over him. It was a great game on both sides of the ball, and I can't wait to unpack that with you guys here on Patriots Today by Chad Sports. I am your host, Allie Barefoot, and I'm going to do just what I said I was going to do. But first, Spam your W's in the comment section because that's a dub, baby. The Patriots are 1-0. and We're not going to worry about any of the rest of the games because right now our team is undefeated and it feels really good. Spam your W's in the comment section down below if you guys feel just as happy as I do about this win because this was huge. This was a statement. Let's go on ahead and start off here with the man of the hour on offense. It's got to be Ramondre Stevenson, right? It, it just has to be. 25 carries for 120 yards, not to mention he tagged on the first touchdown of the NFL season for the Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson was the clear-cut clear -cut captain on offense. I think the way that he just carried the offense on his back, the way that he actually carried some defenders on his back, falling forward, making sure he got the first down. He's giving me aggression from the first snap to the last snap. Ramondre Stevenson was what moved this offense 10, 15 yards. He was absolutely the anchor. And what was kind of cool to see here, too, that I didn't realize Jacoby Brissett had this in his bag either, was 32 yards rushing as well. There were numerous in instances where Jacoby Brissett was like, you know what? Nobody's open. Let me take this first down. He took a couple of hits. I'll tell you what, though. The man is slow. That is a slow man. I'm watching him run, and I'm like, uh, it's painful a little bit. So maybe that'll adjust. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, we know that he can run if he absolutely needs to. But his wide receivers are fantastic. He's got numerous options, not to mention the tight end number two, Austin Hooper, new to the Patriots this season. He really stood out to me on several occasions here because we always know Hunter Henry, who was a third leading, excuse me, second leading receiver last year for the Patriots. Now you've got another option at tight end. I could see a lot more tight end stacks coming from Gerard Mayo moving forward in the future, but because they also have a lot of receivers in their team as well, Tyquan Thornton got himself a share. But the main target that I saw the most here was KJ Osborne. Now, he only had three receptions, but he had a lot more targets. There were certain instances that I saw with K.J. Osborne that just weren't really my favorite in the sense of how he catches the ball with one hand instead of taking, taking that second one and really reeling in the catch. I've seen a lot of one-handed attempts from K.J. Osborne. That just kind of gives me half-ass. If I can start to have him get that two, two hands on the ball and secure that catch in, I think he could be a lot better target. But they still have so many resources. They use Hunter Henry. They even use Pop Douglas for a couple of receptions. The fact that they get to spread out the ball on offense is really what's making this team a lot different from last year. The offensive line, not to mention, they had Michael Jordan, who was elevated from the practice squad, and they had rookie Layden Robinson, and Jacoby Brissett was pretty much untouched. For Darian Lowe, who was the only one with a false start, it looked very good, almost too good for my expectations that were set very low for this offensive line. So it was great to see the offense do what they did, and that's just absolutely dominate. We're going to get to the second half of this show with the defense, and we're also going to talk a little bit here about the Bengals and kind of what happened with them because the headline here isn't just the Patriots beat the Bengals. It's the Bengals lost to the Patriots. What happened and why did the Patriots defense absolutely crap on them? First, I want to tell you guys about our sponsor here on Patriots Today by Chat Sports. Let me tell you about Game Time. This is the only app you guys will ever need to get tickets to a concert, a sporting event, maybe even a comedy show. Or how about the Patriots home opener coming up next Sunday? Let's see if the Patriots can go 2 0. And what's even better, they face the Seattle Seahawks. If you guys 
Want to get your tickets? Go to Game Time right now. They've got great deals, and they also have a new feature that they're rolling out, which is super cool. It's called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats, so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands and thousands of tickets. No, Game Time makes it super easy by giving you lowest price guaranteed, event cancellation protection, job loss protection. They also give you the seat views before you buy. The last thing you want is to spend money on tickets. You really want to see this artist or this game, and you're behind a pole. That doesn't happen here with Game Time because they let you know a little 3D view of where your seats are going to be sitting. And they make curated deals to make it easier to find the best price on great seats. So you guys can see in that middle picture there that they have little stars on some seats. They've also got different seats that you guys can choose from in terms of what fits your budget and where you want to watch the game from. It's all catered to you, which is awesome. So if you guys want to get started, download the Game Time app. Create an account and use code CHATSPORTS, and this is going to give you guys $20 off your first time buying tickets while terms do apply. That's one more time. Create an account. You're going to redeem code CHATSPORTS, C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S. That's going to get you guys $20 off your first time buying tickets while terms do apply. Download the Game Time app today because what time is it? It's game time. Well, let's talk about the game time that happened with Joe Shiesty. All right, 21 for 29 looks like a great stat line. 164 yards, also not bad. Joe Burrow didn't have a bad game. Jamar Chase really didn't start to rev things up until about the second half for the Bengals, but he clearly was the leading receiver here. Six receptions, 62 yards, 28 with his longest one, and that came on a drive in the third quarter, which did end up being their first and only touchdown of the ball game. But it was the pressure that was put on Jacoby, excuse me, that was put on Joe Burrow throughout the game that stood out to me. My key to success was 99 needs to explode. Let me tell you, Keon White exploded. Two and a half sacks on Joe Burrow. The half sack came in the second half, while two sacks came in the first quarter. Matthew Judon, who? Keon White was dominant. On the defensive side, we also saw a lot of pressure from Jelani Tavai. We saw other guys like Jawan Bentley, Devon Godchow. We saw bigger names stepping up here, which was huge. Even in the secondary, it was Jabril Peppers, Kyle Duggar, Christian Gonzalez, who locked up Jamar Chase pretty frequently in the first half. That's why Jamar Chase really didn't have a productive first half, in my opinion, is because of players like Christian Gonzalez. It was great to watch. It was a team effort. They were locked in like none other, which was super fun to watch. They even gave a little excessive, but they even ended up giving Gerard Mayo an, a Gatorade bath at the end of the game. I mean, if that doesn't tell you expectations were low, I don't know what does. But here's a summary of the day. 355 yards in total offense. They went 20 for 42, 216 yards, 27 carries for 139 yards, zero turnovers that's huge there almost was with Ramondre Stevenson got the ball knocked out from underneath them but he jumped on it he secured it and he allowed the Patriots set up for a field goal time possession was 30 minutes so they obviously dominated in that sense but then the Bengals offense you can see here they had one turnover which if I'm actually not mistaken it, it, I think it was two one of them did come on a on a punt return where they ended up fumbling it at the goal line, and then that gave the Patriots time to set up. They ended up just kicking a field goal out of that, but still putting some points on the board. 24 for 39, Joe Burrow, 197 yards. Total offense was 311 yards, so the Patriots won in that category. And then turnovers obviously did plague them. There was even one turnover for Joe Burrow in the red zone. There was another turnover. That one got called back. There was another turnover for the tight end for the Bengals. Ended up on the goal line. Kyle Duggar punching it out of him. And the Patriots were securing it and having that turnover was huge, huge. All in all, the Patriots played their asses off, and it, it showed. They had great leadership behind them in Gerard Mayo, Demarcus Covington, and Alex Van Pelt, the offensive and defensive coordinators. It just looked like a good team effort. They looked happy to be out there, which is what you wanted because last year was just sad. 
It was. Nobody wanted to be there. Now you've got new names coming in, stepping up, like players like Keon White, the second-year standout. Christian Gonzalez is back from injury. You got to see Jalen Polk, Tyquan Fortin, K.J. Osborne, Jacoby Brissett. It's going to be a fun season. I'm not going to, you know, say, sit here and say they're going to go undefeated or they're Super Bowl champions or whatever, but it's 1-0, and and that's huge. And now they can take this momentum, go into week two, go into the home opener against the Seahawks, and hopefully end that 2-0. and But that's what I have for you guys today on my instant reaction from the Patriots winning against the Bengals 16-10. to If you guys want, go on ahead and hit that sub button for me. But I do have one quick question for you before we head out because, you know, I got at least – Let's see what you guys thought here in terms of getting your red pens out and grading the Patriots. Grade their first one of the season, A, B, C, D, or F. I got to give this an A. Maybe an A-, minus, but I got to give it an A. I thought that they showed out on both sides of the football. I thought they just completely threw the expectations out of the window and said, we're going to come in here, we're going to shock the world, and that's what they did. Go on ahead and comment that down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And as always, go on ahead and hit that like button for me or hit that sub button for me. Both would be great, but go on ahead, do that one thing for me. And as always, I am your host, Allie Barefoot, on Patriots Today by Chat Sports.